<laughs> Bobo goes, why are you so mean? I don't know. Maybe if you just, you know, like everybody else did, just, uh, right. yeah, did it right, as Jeffrey would say, then we wouldn't have those issues. I'm just saying, man. I mean, Bryce even got it right. So what? What? Um, what's this? What's yeah, no, what no, no. I was, that? I was just on. Uh, Bobo says, "Why are we so mean?" Oh, Bobo. Yeah. You know. Hello, Ukraine. Don't even get me started with him. <laughs> don't even get me started with Bobo. I found something out today, which just blew my mind. Wow, this phone is getting damaged. Found out Bobo was a female. Yeah, I should go and return this phone and get a new one. Look. Touch it, burn your phone from heating the floor. Oh, yeah. just just dropping it. All right. <clears throat> uh, what did you call this, Jeffrey? Q and A. Mm -hmm. Q and A. Okay, so uh. Can I have another stand? This one. Yes, this we is can. A good one? Yep. Okay. Guys, feel free to throw up some questions there as we're doing this. I do want to say that all the check-ins are completely done for January, so everybody. Your January check-ins from the Titans. We are done. Rocked and roll. Look at us. We're going full, full tilt. Oh, yeah. Is this microphone working, Jeff? You want to sing a song? So you don't want me to beat it up and hold it or anything like that? Like the last time? <laughs> All right. Let's pick a better thing. Yes, your hands. Right. Hands touching. Anything and everything. Mm. I'm covering your microphone there. You move back. <clears throat> Trying to get in here. Yeah. Oops. Oh my gosh. There we go. We got our water. Oh no. Who killed their Titan workout today? Uh, I have some cool news tomorrow, though. I know that uh, someone here, not me. Yeah. Uh, is going to start posting her workouts. So um, that's right. People like Bobo and uh, Steve Pack and Jeremy could um, be a little bit better. <clears throat> okay. So that is the scoop. We are getting more and more involved with this stuff because I think it's really important for you guys to see. Uh, well, I'm just also getting a lot of requests. You know, my girls wants to see the workouts. They want to see what I'm doing, how I'm, you know, eating and nutrition and all that stuff. So why not put it out there for everybody? We did uh, do, again, I'm telling you, we finished the check-ins. So everybody knows what they got to do on their nutrition, what their cardio has to do if they're doing cardio, and how I changed um, – the plan if we needed to change the workout plan for them, even though they're doing the Titan Challenge 4 or Strength Gains or any of those plans. Uh, with that being said, I got a day off tomorrow, um, and I am going to utilize that extremely well with a uh, therapy with uh, Jimmy Bluff, a couple hours with Jimmy to get the body worked on. Mm -hmm. um, and then I also, I guess it's not tomorrow, but we're going to get Griff on Thursday but I think, honestly, mm -hmm. tomorrow's a good day. And Jeffrey, let's go over to the office and get on the stretching table. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right? Because we and have we to go there for that. Been there. We haven't been there so long. So I think that's what we're going to do for a lot of the recovery tomorrow. Um, that's all I'm gonna, what are you going to do? To recover? Well, first of all. Maybe you should work out first. I was just going to say, first of all, let me just do something so I can have a reason to recover from, <laughs> you know, but Hey, I'm, I'm loving my three days a week. I'm going to start doing five days a week. Now with the Titan challenge, I am doing all my meals. Oh, I'm getting all my meals in, which is a plus, uh, cause that's really, 19, really important guys. When it comes 18, to the food, 19, you can work out for days every day for years and years if you're not on a nutrition plan that works for you it's like just a waste so i've seen people in the gym for 10 15 years and they look the same there's absolutely no changes whatsoever so i know that's because they're not doing a nutrition plan they're not doing the right thing so are you talking about bobo or just people again let me just say this Sorry. i just saw bobo on my live 
Let me, I have to call him. I have to FaceTime after this. Because <laughs> that's so fun. <laughs> Bobo, you are a piece of work, man. Um, that being said, give me some questions here, guys. Um, so what has been changed in your life this year so far? Besides bringing in the Titan Challenge 4 for everybody. Uh, I'm, I am... What are you doing different? You have a goal every year to yes. look a certain way. Last right. year you looked a certain way for the movies, uh, and you did look a certain way. A way that we last year was twice, before. wasn't it? Yeah, it was the beginning of the year, and then yeah. again for the movies. Yes, Is that right, correct. Jeff? Yeah. I loved the beginning of the year because mm -hmm. we had some uh, like birthday photos, and we were in Vegas, and I liked the fullness and roundness. The second cut I didn't like, mm -hmm. um, and so. Uh, it, but it I taught know, me. I know it taught why, me some stuff. I know why you didn't like it though, because because Vegas, yeah, that was great. Yeah. Um, let me tell you, it was last year, but the beginning of the year, it was that second. The, the second yeah. cut was sort of forced on you because you want you had a goal. You had you said, hey, I'm gonna take a few months off and I'm gonna recover. I'm gonna, my calories intakes are gonna be this much. I'm doing. I'm reversing it. Whatever. And okay. then you get the call and they say, hey. We need you for this movie, and you have to be looking like this, and you gotta be on stage, and you gotta do this, shut off, this, that. So that forced you to actually push harder than you ever did to be, to bring the body. You're back. being so nice to me. Yes, true. Because I disagree. Okay, why? It's because they called and they said to do it, and then I started dieting, and it just hit different. It hit different, and it hit. I. It hit different. So what I mean is like, uh, it hit different. It just, it, it wasn't, I don't think it was enough time between the first cut and the second cut. And so my body just kind of goes, all right, you want to get sliced? Let's get sliced. And it just freaking, it spun out of control for me. And I didn't like the finished product as much compared to the product before that. Now, again, I've won the universe four times and each time was completely different right. and each time was a learning experience. And so this, this last, I'll say this, I'm glad this last diet and, and, and the finished product was what it was because it, it, it kind of uh, punched me in the gut, I guess you would say. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I'm training like I'm training now. There's, there's some stuff that I realize I can't go to anymore. I can't be the guy that goes, okay, um, I'll go low calories and I'll jump on cardio. I can't do that anymore. 15 hours of cardio? I can't do it. Fast? Uh-uh. Because <laughs> my body will just, it will yeah. just. You can't do that. Um, away compared to keeping the iron on my back. Um, and so I, I, I see your point and what you're saying. And, and if I want to give myself a little break, I, I could just, say, I could, okay, I had to rush it. Yeah. But the body still reacted a way that I didn't like it. And so I'm more motivated now dieting down again um, this time than I was. But you feel so much better now. You feel healthier. Your joints feel great. Yeah. I could see it yeah. visually. Yeah. When you do your squats and when you do certain exercises. Um, oh, you know. He could tell you what it looked like I'm bent over rows today. Crazy, right? Yeah. yeah, it was, it was, Easy. we had a day back when we were doing powerlifting, mm -hmm. power bodybuilding, and we both went into the gym here and we started doing exercises and Kelly was there that day and it was like nothing we touched was heavy. Mm -hmm. And so I got my heavy stuff done and I'm doing bent over rows with a good amount of weight and I'm repping it for 10, like it's nothing. So that strength is, it's coming back and it's really back. But again, if you guys didn't know, I am in a deficit right now and we are slicing and dicing because we're all doing the titan for challenge four so the diet for me is different than everybody else's everybody's is our special diet and we need to go over your diet yes sir and we should show that to them mm -hmm. this week okay. why don't we do that guys uh, you guys want to see mona's diet and how we're how we're setting it up and how she's going to do this yeah i'm excited to uh to share everything with uh, the titan crew as I feel like we're all family, and uh, I would 
appreciate all the support and any advice you guys have for me. I'll take it, you know. Um, but also, um, I'd like to see how my training is going to be moving forward. So I'm going to film everything. That way it's going to keep me uh, responsible to get my workout in and to actually show my exercises. So I'm going to have uh, Jeff film most of the stuff. I can do it. No, because you make me look short and fat. I'll do the uh, the, the wide do shot. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's do that. Let's let's get you guys going on that. And also, we're talking about sharing. Uh, we're going to do this whole uh, process of blood work, this next one. You guys know that we did our blood work um, two months ago. So we have another couple weeks before we do our blood work again. Um, but this next process, as we go through the blood work, we'll be able to talk to you guys about what our numbers are. And then if anybody has done their blood work with Transcend, any of you guys, make sure that you guys touch base with me so we can go over this uh, if you'd like to discuss that. I would love for the women to get on that as well um, for blood work because this is going to check, guys, everything, your liver, your kidneys, um, your hormones, uh, your brain, everything. So it's not uh, just that. It definitely didn't help. Bobo's brain. So oh, Bobo is shot. Um, so this just not like a regular blood work that you just get at your doctor's, like an annual. This is a good one. Yeah, like an annual uh, thing. This is like. How do you post the comment? Pin comment to the top. Uh, what do you to so somebody says, "Why do I do blood work so much?" And the reason why I do it is because remember, uh, for me and what I'm doing coaching wise. And for her and for the Titans around the world is I, I try to study it. And so I am a continuous study for myself. And so that goes with the food I'm eating and how I mean, do you want that turned off? So uh, that's why I do it every three months. And again, um, my nutrition is so on point. It's cool to see how certain foods react and do things to my blood and how other foods don't. And so it's a, it's a continuous learning and finding out how I can manipulate uh, my food intake to continue to build muscle, to continue to be healthy and continue to do it. Another reason is too, is uh, this last year, we not just did blood work. We did five different heart exams. We did a uh, prostate exam. We did um, uh, liver and kidneys yeah. Uh, yeah. exam. Um, we did uh colonoscopy we did all those things but i'm again i'm a very very old man and yeah. <laughs> unfortunately if you guys ever go to see blood work it's just a whole bunch of guys my age every couple months in there just checking things yeah um <clears throat> does your uh, workouts what, what, change like your blood work do your uh your does cuts your cut changes change? all the time like your blood work does my cuts change I don't know what you mean by that. My diet changes every 12 weeks. Um, it has nothing to do with the blood work, your diet. If that's what, uh, well, no, my diet does. Yeah, does, yeah. 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 Uh, I'm curious on, asking, I think. I'm, yes, and my blood work does change depending on how I'm dieting. Yeah. 100%. Oh, 100% it does. Great question. I see what you're saying. Oh, talking about blood work uh, and all that I stuff. Think, I think I accepted. I don't know. Uh, you did. I did? Yeah. What happened? It's probably Clark. <laughs> oh. And we're talking about it. <laughs> Look at this guy. Hi, Clark. So we have uh, Clark Bartram on right now. Hi. We're talking about blood work, and everybody wants to know why we do it so much. Why is it so important? And, uh, man, you just clicked in at the right freaking time. It's amazing. Like. Clark yes, Bartram. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's important because, number one, you're right, not enough people get it done. And it drives me nuts that people think they can get in the best shape of their life or have longevity like you guys talk about all the time without understanding what the blood is telling them. The blood is the number one marker that you can look at to give you every indicator in your life as to what you need to change. That's it. Plain and simple. So I was also telling them this, and I'll guarantee you do the same thing. Is uh, you know me, I'm a pro I'm probably a little bit more anal and, and study wise when it comes to food. I'm always trying different things. How can I put on size? How can I cut up? How can I 
How can I retain the muscle but do a diet? So I'm always doing those things. And so that's why the blood work also plays a part in it. And they were asking, does your blood work change by the way you eat? And I'm like, 100% your diet, your blood changes from the way you eat. Um, so for you, do you do it now just for yourself? Or do you also do it to study what you can do and uh, manipulate, I guess you would say is a good word, your blood um, from the way you eat? to decide whether he wants to stay natural or take a more medicated approach to his fitness regimen. And I'm trying to convince him to stay on the natural route. He's 27 years old. He started asking me about my testosterone levels. And I asked him, had he has blood drawn recently? The answer, like most people, was no. So I went on to tell him that my goal, I'm trying to do an experiment on myself to see how high I can raise my testosterone naturally through lifestyle modification that right. includes mindset meals movements all of those sorts i gotta of stop you being in the cold. Okay. uh because he said mindset and i know some of you may go that has nothing to do with your testosterone oh yes it does i'm sorry to say uh the number one thing is uh, that kills us is stress and stress does mess with your markers um so mindset's a huge one and clark's a big guy on mindsets so, so I just want you guys to understand that that plays a part, nutrition and his mindset. I just want to stop because I don't know if all these people understand that a stressful life causes those numbers to change and things to happen inside the body. It'll crush those numbers. Cortisol will just destroy it. And if you don't understand where your cortisol levels are, and the thing with cortisol, it's, it, it changes throughout the day. So there's other ways to test cortisol that some might agree is better than blood because I'm not going to go get my blood tested three times a day. I might do a saliva test Can they hear? three you times a day, which is a little bit easier to see where my hormone, with my cortisol specifically is. But, you know, with the cold plunge thing that I was talking about, my goal, I'm trying to do an experiment on myself like you do, like to see how the mindset piece can change my testosterone in addition to the way I eat and the way I train. So I changed the way I'm training. I'm training a lot harder now than what I used to normally do. I mean, I'm training two body parts a day, twice a week. I'm hitting legs like three times a week. Legs is my favorite body part to train now. And it wasn't, I avoided legs for a long time. <laughs> Does this so mean Clark Barks trying to push my T levels over a thousand naturally? That's naturally. Amazing. I just said it, ladies and gentlemen. That is true. Jeez Louise. Over a grand. There's 19-year-olds that wish they had that. Um, and I'm glad you, you you talked to that 27-year-old and said, go get your blood work done um, and find that out first. Because I just had a couple 26 and 28-year-olds do it, and their T levels were at 300. And so I don't think they realize that it doesn't matter your age, um, and mostly in today's world, how stressful it is. Um and it's not an old man matter, thing. The sooner you understand the, the importance of that, it, imagine having records throughout your life as detailed as you are about what you train. Imagine if you have records of your blood from the time you really started being serious at the age of 12, 13 years old, knowing, okay, say you were 21, you just started your blood work. You would have so much history. I mean, we would know things about Titan to look for, and it just... Like, it's all in there, man. So you ready? I do have blood yeah. work from 16, 20, and, and then periodically after that as well. It's the coolest also thing in the world. I tested for shows and stuff. I tested for shows, um, but also I got tested because my mom and dad, both very educated people, were freaked out by that, that size during puberty that I got. And so they really did exams on at that time. And I have all that. Plus, I have my still my my my, my Bible of the workouts I was doing from 12, 13 on plus photos. So I, I have that stuff. And that's why I've talked to you about my levels and stuff throughout my life is, is there's things that have helped me stay healthy and connect to the connective tissue being healthy. So I know what you're saying. It's cool to see that. And I, I think that's cool. Two things that, that we may be able to train legs together soon. That's cool for me. Um, and then also that what you're doing is is the same as we do is 
You're testing your body to see what you can do um, with everything that's open and options to you. And it's because you understand what's going on inside your body. Yeah. And it, it, going back to the mindset thing, something I told this kid this morning was people buy into all of this bro science and things that people regurgitate online. Like the number one thing that people regurgitate without any knowledge of is this concept or idea of every single man over the age of 30, his testosterone will go down by 1% every single year. And I told that kid, I said, they didn't test me. They didn't test anyone in this gym. So why would I lump myself in with a bunch of average people who are accepting that as the norm? I don't want to be lumped into the normal category. I want to be exceptional. I want to be a guy that's an outlier. I want to be that guy that is an anomaly, if you will. And I always talk to people about you. Matter of fact, you know, his comment was, I said, hey, do you know who Michael Hearn was? He goes, yeah, of course I do. I'm like, well, that's, you know, one of my best friends. He's like, man, you know, he started to do that. Meh. And I'm like, look, I'm a ride or die with that guy. I'm a ride or die because there are people who exist on this planet who can excel beyond what limitations we have in our beliefs based upon a bunch of people saying a bunch of crap that they have no clue what they're saying. So I would argue with a Harvard PhD today who says that it's not possible for me to boost my testosterone over a thousand naturally at the age of 59. I would debate what, that guy today. Well, you already proved it and you already did the you, blood you work and you already that. did the testing. So you've already proved it. Mm -hmm. And again, I understand. Uh, um, so there's a nutrition book that's uh, it's a, a nutrition book in all colleges and Harvard and, and Stanford and stuff. And there's a, what would you call the term? A, uh, um, a hypothetical. And the hypothetical is a picture of me talking about me in the nutrition books in all the colleges, the uh, Ivy League colleges. And they're saying, wow. so how can this man be this, 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 and this? And the reason I say that is because it's, it's a, first of all, it's cool to be in the most uh, high standard of colleges for nutrition book. But God knows you never would have got there on your own, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I think the point is that I understand the average Joe falling into the lump sum with the um, these discoveries of people going, hey, this is what hypertrophy training is. This is what your T levels do. This is how you should eat. I understand the average person falling into that. Again, I just don't know anybody in my world that's average. Everybody I know are and that's all the titans and that's the same thing for your people they're not that's not average they're all individuals that are trying their best to get better and that's not an average an average person is the one that comes home from work sits on the couch eats whatever he wants doesn't think about trying to go to the gym or anything like that what that's, is a uh, and a good t level for a 35 year old guy i, I don't it, think it, it like really works that way. i would say over 600 you would say Okay. For a 35 year old guy, absolutely. Yeah. I don't know. Because I, I know too many people that are uh, much lower than that. Um, yeah. Well, you know, we live in a different world where yeah. there's a whole lot more attacks on male existing, you know, just, you know, we, we go to this whole toxic male thing. But, you know, there, I'm going to let you guys, I just shot a reel just now, and you'll be able to understand this on a level that, I'm hoping people understand it on. We hear all these guys talking about, I'll die for my family, bro, right? Like this bravado, like I'll die for my family. Like he would go get shot right. if someone was gonna hurt his family. And I'm thinking to myself, that's the stupidest thing ever because once you're dead, you're no longer good to your family. How about changing that to I'll live for my family? How about living for your family, losing weight, working out, having a better mindset, having more energy, feeling better, being an example to your high school Everybody, kid yeah. of what it looks like to go to the gym, even when you're tired, even when you don't want to. Live for your family, bro. Don't die for it because if you don't start living for your family, you're going to die for your family one slow day at a time. <laughs> boom. I love it, Clark, yeah. man. I love it. So well, plan on coming up for legs on Saturday then? Saturday, I got to be in Studio City for a podcast. All right, then.
Oh. That podcast isn't until is 11. Studio that, City that Studio here? City is not until 11 o'clock. So you can do it legs here before I'm a, that. I'm going to spend the day. Know How did I know? You just yeah. told me. Oh. Yes. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> I said 11. I got my Zoom call at 7. I got Wayne at 8. And I got to go. At, so I got I to gotta be here. All right. So I'll come up. So your week. Zoom calls here at 7 at the house. You get done with that I at 8, that. but then you got your boy. I could trade. I'll see if Wayne wants to skip. I could possibly do that. And then you trade but for, Anita wants to come up, too, though. I know. Tighten and, 8 to 10, so she's ready and then to, go right over to your podcast at 11 o'clock. See, what, see, I, see I just scheduled that shit right. up. I love you, kid. We Let's love go. you. Peace, Thanks brother. Thanks for joining in. Bye-bye. Everybody, Clark Awesome. Let's let's answer some questions here, guys, for you guys. Uh, thanks. Um, again, if you don't follow Clark Bartram, go on over and follow this guy. <laughs> Clark is the best. He Clark's just, a he just good really cat. puts everything and kind of shows everyone exactly how it needs to be. He's so real. He just, I love, I love it. Yeah. Jeffrey, uh, so the first one here it says, uh, can you create a course that's um, – Shares your knowledge. Yeah, we are actually working Amen. on that. So thank you for the donation for the puppies. And yes, we are working on that. And you'll be able to have that at the end of this year, it looks like. And the uh, go to yeah. Um, Damien, I know that you've been on here asking a lot of questions. And you said you saw a doctor. But if you want to get more. Uh, Where do you see this? In, it's on, on Instagram here. Okay. Uh, deeper into your blood work. And you want to really get it done. Um, the right way, go to the bio on Mike's page on Instagram, and then you'll find, you'll find Transcend. My accent, you like my accent? I like the accent. <laughs> and then just sign up there under the Titan crew, and you will get a physician to talk to you through. You'll I think that's all... that's even more important. They, they dive deeper on mm -hmm. the testing itself, but then what they do is they're actually a company that really tries to help you with the wellness and doesn't do it a family doctor. Family doctors aren't aren't qualified to help you in this well, sense. That's probably what happened. He went to a doctor. They did the blood work. He did check the yeah. the stash from say, hey, And then if it comes back in, good, in there, you know? yeah, it's. But you're not good. I think that you know. That's, they don't check uh, you really no, your sleep yeah. or anything like so, that. Um, so yeah, go do that um, that blood work uh, at Transcend. Uh, it's in the bio on Instagram. You no, it wouldn't it. be the same as Kaiser. Um, and especially it wouldn't be because it's the whole process. It's not just the blood work, but it's the people reading the blood work. And I think that's the real big part of this is that they understand what they're reading, not just the doctor saying, hey, your numbers are in line. This is all great here. This is all all we want. And they don't look how to optimize you in the very best possible way you can be for the age you are and what you're dealing with. And that's the kind of goal that uh, they have over there transcend so mm -hmm. it's a cool thing um you guys will you guys will love it and see it and then what we're doing is we're working with titan crew members that are doing this and so the ones that uh are, are they're doing great with this too which is nice and i and i see these guys from as early as 20 um to some of the girls that are in their mid 30s and 40s that their hormones are already acting up getting straightened out now uh, to guys that are in their 60s and 70s. So it's really cool to see that. Does Transcend take into account dietary restrictions or is it more of a guideline? I would say love, it again. Does Transcend take into account a dietary restrictions or is it more of a guideline? I would love to do it, but don't want to get into it because I can't follow due to the allergic reactions, etc. So, I'm not sure what she's asking. Yeah. He's asking. Yeah. It's, so, so the, yeah, you'll, you'll talk to a physician. You're talking to a doctor yeah. about it. Yeah. And they're going to guide you in the very best light that you can do. Yeah. This isn't um, them telling you, hey, this is what you have to do. They're yeah. going to suggest yeah. what they think. And so, then okay. you guys talk about it, which is great that it's more of a, a, a counselor situation to where they're going to say these five things. Well, I like the two things. Uh, great. And then you go off and you do that. And then again, which is great, is three months later, you do another blood test and you get to talk again and go, hey, so this is what's happened. 
This is why you have more energy. This is why you're more sexually active. This is why um, you've um, healed some of those hours that weren't healing. Now your body's functioning at a better rate, and now you're healing the body in all different ways. So it's a cool thing to see. But yeah. again, one of the main things is understand this. You guys should all be on joint support. You guys should be on multivitamins. Um, I'm a huge creatine guy. I am a huge amino acids guy. Uh, get your diets on point. Make sure you're doing that kind of stuff because regardless of anything, this is all encompassing. It's one full circle together. Train smart and train consistent. Mm -hmm. Sleep well. Take your vitamins. Um, eat correctly for you. It all works together the very best it can. Yeah. Let me see. <clears throat> Yeah, these sweaters do feel comfortable. Somebody said they have these sweatshirts and they're so comfortable. This is uh, the best. I'm, you know, I, it's it's really crazy, but it's been quite chilly here in LA. And we had the rain and all that, so this came in so handy. <laughs> there's your question. Uh, let's see. What do you all do in a day as a power couple? How do you... What? Balance balance your individual and mutual well we together 24 7 kind of um because we work together we work from home we travel together great question and uh um it's like anybody says no relationship or, or no house is church everybody got you know up and downs but once you what's learn, your down once you learn <laughs> how to let things go and once you learn um how to respect respect each other, which is the most important thing in this house. We don't call each other names. Oh, Jeff? Yeah. <laughs> we don't. We don't call each other <laughs> names. Uh, because I think once you do that, it's uh, the respect is gone. So um, we literally, if Mike is irritated, um, he pulls away. He goes upstairs. We I got go a nice house, shopping. so I get, I get to yeah. go to the other side like of the house. Out. Uh, if, Nobody sees me. If I'm irritated, Mike doesn't even know because I'm out at the supermarket. So we stay away from each other. If a little irritation <laughs> we balance it, I, I think it's, I don't think we have an, a, a balanced life for society. I think we have a balanced life for us. We love training. We love doing the work. We love doing our stuff. We get our dog time. We get our son time. Um, and I do all the dirty work. So. Yeah, and you do all the real hard yeah. labor. So it works out pretty good for me, guys. I always say you gotta do the little things in order for the big things to get done, um, and that comes from anything from um, getting buying milk and water to fixing the uh, air conditioning to getting people in to clean the whatever whatever that may be. So all the little things have to be done. So that way the big things are coming in easy and you don't have no stress. And also too, you know, I am a doer. So if, if Mike, for example, walks through the house and he just takes his, I haven't seen him do that lately, but takes his clothes off and throws them on the floor, I'm not going to yell at him, hey, what are you doing? Pick it up. I go pick it up, put it in the laundry. So That's there you not, go. I don't do that, guys. No, I don't no. walk around naked. So um, do I have uh, cardio only days? So this might be new to him. Um, I have when I've done uh, cutting for shows, I have, um, but never, never outside of that 12 weeks for cutting. And it's really never that 12 weeks. It'd probably be like only like the last four weeks I would do something like that. So the rest of the year, absolutely not. Hopefully I'm not doing cardio the rest of the year. And the cool thing about the diet I'm doing this time, and if you guys go back and watch the start of this, you'll talk about how these last two diet, these cut-ups um, came out differently. And you'll know this time when I'm slicing and dicing, absolutely no cardio, this, this slice and dice. None. Will not do it. If I have to burn um, more calories to get leaner, that will be a workout, an additional workout. It will not be cardio. I think also, too, guys, keep it in mind that when you do cardio and you are on elliptical, right, and it shows that you burned 280 calories, you did burn the 200 calories and they're gone and they're burned and that's that. It's no more burning calories. But when you work out and you train with heavy weights, 
and you know weight training your body keeps burning over like a period of you know 24 to 48 hours so i would rather do weight training than cardio for me my body just works so much better that way boom true i'm gonna check on strike okay quick. will you grab me a water yeah um so her point too i think is great and i think uh, a lot of people don't realize that is takes a lot longer to uh, recover from a workout than it does for the, the oh no i'm good so that body's going to be going to that nutrition that you've eaten all, for the next 24 to 48 hours to try to heal the body relative to just the cardio in that short term look at my babies with us yeah. all the babies are here they want to go outside for the walk so, uh, all right so if you have to go fully gonna, understand yeah i'm gonna take off in the next five minutes um and you could like continue to obviously answer all their questions yeah here's a i think a question uh well somebody asked uh oh, Damien, again i've always thought that cardio on treadmill for 45 minutes during cutting is best for stairmaster or Stairmaster, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think Stairmaster's unreal. Both, yeah, treadmill and cardio. Just whatever you like. Whatever you can get your heart rate to a nice level. Um, and uh, that's it. All right. Uh, go gonna, for it. I'm You're going to head take, out? Yeah, I'm going to take this girls All and right. my phone. You guys, thank you for joining in here for my page on Instagram. Thank you, guys. Thank uh, you. Thanks for the questions, and we will see you on the next live. Um, I'm going to stay here with you guys for a second. I just want to answer yes, any are. of these questions. Um, push pull is a great routine. It's something I did when, a lot when I was younger. Um, and again, it depends on what you're training or when uh, the program you're on. So push pull is is a type of program. You know, it's you know, are you doing your uh -oh. what's wrong? Uh oh, baby. Uh oh, <laughs> he needs to sleep. Baby's waking. Push pull is a great routine. If you like it, enjoy it. Uh, there you go, Jeffrey. Go for it. I don't know. I don't know either. Anyways, making sure that I'm getting all my meals in. They want me to stay away from training and women. Oh, oh just training for the next. <laughs> Good job, Justin. Way to get that. <laughs> yep. Uh, keep eating the best you can, brother. And man, I haven't had that since school. Sixth grade. Yeah, sixth grade, right? <laughs> <laughs> Justin's a wild man. Uh, let's see. Big Scotty. Big Scotty. How you doing, my man? I haven't heard from you this last couple weeks, uh, check-ins or anything like that. I hope you're doing great, brother. Oh, how do you this thing? Uh, let it. How do I order a Titan Crew t shirt? Uh oh. MikeOherinLifestyle.com. Let me fix your name on it. Uh, there's a link right there to get the Titan Crew t shirt, guys. You can do this one too, real quick, if you can. Mm -hmm. As long as he stays down, right, guys? Uh, let's go a couple more questions here as I'm moving down. Boom. What is this about? It's Q&A time, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Go for it, Jeffrey. I want to add some growth to my biceps. Fuller. Wow. Would you recommend working them more than once a week to help that? Did you do a Robbie there? There's a little bit Robbie in that. It was a little Robbie. I like it. Uh, yeah, I would. I would feel fine if you guys go. Hey, I want to do like a um, overtraining period of time for a delayed growth uh, for your arms to get them all fired up. Go for it. Feel free to do that. And then know when to stop um, and let the arms grow relative to continuously beating them down. So just be intelligent about that part, okay? I 
Thank you for that. That's more of a uh, uh, family thing and also just putting a little bit of muscle on and uh, staying tight and lean. Anything, Jeff? That was about Bobo. Oh. <laughs> oh, that one. Yeah. What do you think are some positives and negatives about gym culture in today's world? Uh, positive. I, you know what? I like that because I feel like it's my industry. I, I like that. Can you text me? Yeah, yeah, I, I like it that it is one of the fastest way to grow on social media. Uh, if you're got in shape or going through a journey or or were 400 pounds and got down to 200 pounds, that kind of aspect, it's cool to see that those kind of individuals really jump fast and grow a great community on social media. And so I like that that's what lifting and nutrition and living a healthy life does so that's that's the positive the other side would be um the other side would be the echo the echo without uh, any like what we saw five like an hour ago the echo of the individual that has not even done what they're echoing because everybody is just a carbon copy and they just say, Hey, carbs, you know, it's, it's the, it's the million people going, Hey, carbs are bad. What you need to do is make sure your insulin level doesn't spike. And, and, and then you just see the next page and the next page and everybody's trying to jump onto that. And none of them really understand the full effect. Haven't done it themselves in a sense, haven't lived it. Just, yeah, that's the only part, the echo, because then too many things get echoed that are incorrect. Yeah. Um, that's, the, that's the worst thing, I think, for me. Where there's a small few of people that are really doing it. Uh, go for it. Good morning from the Philippines. What are the best supplements or the best supplements whenever you're tired from office work and don't want to go for a workout with him or uh look at that. Yeah. Look at that microphone. Double, Double time it. Um yeah, my stem non-pump. Is that doing an echo through it? Wow. So a my stem non-pump would be great. Is it even better? Okay. God, it just seems like I can hear it. So, yeah, uh, my non stim mostly because you just got done with work and you want enough energy to go, but not override you and make you a crackhead. You know what I mean? And so at that time, probably too much caffeine. So, I'll do my non stim pump, and you can get that at Walmart. My favorite is the protein when I start the diet. And then four weeks or three weeks later, it is my worst protein. It's so good, though. Yeah, I know what you mean because I've known this since the time I first did my show, regardless of what it is. I loved the rice cakes and tuna when I did my first show at 14 years old. I loved it. I knew I had, I got five rice cakes a day, five freaking rice cakes a day. And I got my tuna and two weeks into that, I was over that diet. <laughs> so, but you stay in it and you keep doing it. Yep. We're going to finish this up with Jeffrey right now, guys. Let's just go down. Let me see if I can find something really good as
Any advice for someone who has a desk job? Early 40s to lose weight like that. Lots of fat cells. Okay, um, yeah, you just got to diet and train. That's the best way to do that, guys. Uh, always around 250. Um, yeah. I'm looking for something here that could help the group. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I had some of the greatest in the world help me when I was 14. Um and then I had Neil Spruce help me and stuff. Uh, I had legit guys helping me that were great at what they did, and they were the best in the world at what they did. I, I again, I worry about this. That again, there's so many that are just the Joe that goes and competes one time, and then he's suddenly a coach, and then he messes up the girl's thyroid by just throwing her on an extreme amount of cardio and no food. So be careful. I did the Titan training four week program and it absolutely transformed my body. I lost 40 pounds of fat and found myself again. Is there any program you may recommend as a follow up? <clears throat> well, if you're on Titan training four, there's 12 weeks. I think it just means the, the old. The old one. Titan. Uh, okay, four weeks. He did the Titan training. I love it. Okay. Um, try strength gains. Um, I would do strength gains right now or pro secrets. Uh, and that link is on my bio. Either of those are really extreme and you've already lost something. You're already freaking motivated. And so those would be perfect for you because it really show you what you're made of on this next journey, this next step. Congratulations too, man. That is no small feat to do that. And I, I'm glad you jumped on here today and I got to, uh, I hear that, man. Great job. And on that note, I will be uh, gone today. We will be back over tomorrow doing some stuff. Tomorrow, we're going to go over uh, Mona's um, nutrition. And we'll talk to you um, about the training again. Everybody, we're on the Titan Challenge 4. That's why the last question kind of confused me. But um, Titan Challenge 4 is a 12-week program. You can get on that with us. And we have check-ins here coming in February.